there's a theory. You will take care of things you love. I wonder if you could love wild animals. I actually believe you should bring wild animals into your home. But when I say this to my friends, they think I'm involved in something illegal, which I'm not. Even though we understand that animals belong on this planet, as cities are growing, humans are replacing wild animals. Natural habitats are being polluted. Habitats are being destroyed by wildfires and are being invaded by species that don't even belong. Can you ever imagine Australia without kangaroos? China without pandas? Or even just walking down any streets in Canada without seeing squirrels climbing up and down the trees? And I hate zoos. I went to a zoo once when I was younger, but never dared to do it again. When I stared into the eyes of a caged tiger, its eyes were dull, empty, emotionless, numb. You might feel helpless to save the wild animals in need, like you cannot make a difference, but you can. Start by bringing them into your house and give yourself a chance to fall in love. In my house, I fell in love with small but ferocious wild animal. First, sea otters. They are one of the few animals that use tools. They mainly use rocks to crack open their food, such as clams. Because of their white whiskered faces, people often call them old men of the sea. Do you want an old man of the sea in your bedroom? Of course! Second, Rufus hummingbirds. Yes, the bird that are the size of your thumb. Loaded, I know, she has some attitude. Being a fiercely territorial bird, she will attack anyone who come near her nest or flower. Do you want a Rufus hummingbird flying in your bedroom? Maybe. The third one is my all-time favorite ferocious wild animal. Remember the time we had to stay quarantined for so long due to the COVID virus we have? This ferocious wild animal stayed with me in my bedroom the whole entire time. Baby giant pandas. They're small, but ferociously cute. Think about it. Imagine a pet. If you could own any wild animal, and I mean any real wild animal, what would it be? Imagine bringing all of your favorite wild animals into your home and live with them. How cool would that be? And you have zero responsibilities for food, exercise, or picking up poo. You know, the yucky stuff. Your only job is to watch them. Today, I will share some ideas which allow you to learn and enjoy wild animals even if you live in a city. You will reconnect to nature, experience all of your favorite wild animals, and at the same time, you can fall in love. It's way easier than you think. First, I'll explain how to bring your pet home, and then I'll explain why does this save the wild animals' lives. First, type explore.org into your search engine and up will come many different live streams of wild animals. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of options. Second, choose any wild animal that interests you and watch them. Here are some of the organizations that you are likely to discover. Remember the baby pandas? You can expect to watch something like that. Just like how to listen to music while working, driving, and walking, as long as you're in it and playing the live stream, you are counted as a live stream view. This is it. 
simple and authentic, and it does save wild animals' lives. Think about it. The more views a live stream has, the more attention it attracts from either conservation societies or larger organizations. In other words, your views provides more sponsorship and advertising opportunities, which will eventually turn into profit. Then that money will be distributed to different organizations to save the life of the wild animals. In addition to the financial aspect, by simply just playing the live streams on your devices, you are keeping the wild animals safe. With cameras on 24 seven, it keeps the poachers away from hurting the animals, which also give them a peaceful home. For example, during the quarantine, I had a separate tab open on my computer just for live streams of baby pandas. Whenever I lose the motivation to finish my homework, I will always recharge myself with that. Yes, yes, procrastination, but I'm saving the cute pandas. I adore pandas not only because we're both from China. I'm from Beijing and they are from the Sichuan province. Although I am very, very far away from home, this live stream camera reduces the distance by a whole lot. Maybe you're like me, who always imagined pandas are these fluffy creatures with puffy little cheeks who love to move around and explore. Well, we are wrong. Actually, each has her own attitude. The one that I brought home is quite lazy. She prefers rest over exercise, sitting over standing, and of course, laying over sitting. She's not only lazy, but she also eats a huge, huge amount of food. She stayed in my house for almost two hours and her mouth has been consuming bamboos nonstop. And she also eats everywhere. Under the shade, still eating. Leaning onto the wall, still eating. Even if she is sitting in a puddle of water with her butt wet, she just keeps eating. See, through the cameras of live stream, you can welcome the wildest animal into your home without being scared, without hurting the animals, no metal cages, and no risk to young children. If you use my method of starting at explore.org to find wild animals that you desire to watch, you will enjoy peace of mind. The videos are uploaded from safe and reputable sources dedicated to save lives and habitats. You will never see web cameras totally disturbing their lives to achieve personal profit. And you will learn fascinating facts like how saltwater crocodiles are nearly blind under the water and have very sensitive jaws. Right now, as this event continues, according to BBC News, every hour, three species of wild animals face extinction. The time past will not return, and neither with the wildlife. Do not feel helpless. Join the movement of saving wild animals' lives. No matter if you're attracted to bees, snakes, wolves, cheetahs, bears, or pandas, watch live streams to save their lives and habitats. Please, fall in love with the endangered animals before it's too late. And prove the theory. You do take care of things you love.